It's finally here. This is my new and improved Notion setup, a complete life operating system in Notion that helps me organize my life. If you've not seen the first part of my complete Notion tour, make sure to go and check that video out first via the link in the description and come back here. In this video, actioning tasks, projects, and content channels in Notion, managing your work across a creator, contact, and financial tracker system, not just for creators, and my second brain knowledge bank and notebook system. Hi everyone, it's Simon. Welcome or welcome back to Better Creating, where I'm collecting great ideas, tools, and tech to simplify productivity and creative life. There's a link in the description if you would like to go and download a copy of this new template, and there are chapter markers down there too if you want to jump between sections. Right, let's now go further into my system and I'll show you all the dashboards where I work each day. In terms of managing your day-to-day -day tasks and projects, essentially you add tasks here really quickly, and then within action, you can filter them into the system. Let's just do an example. I'm gonna put in here, new quick task example and I'm going to say I want to do it tomorrow it's put into the system then at a certain time in the day maybe at the end of the day I'll I'll zero my inbox this is the task inbox I can give it a deadline I think it needs to be done on the day as well so the deadline's the same um, and I can say I want to do it in the morning and the way you filter it is you add it to a project you could relate it to content in the content dashboard um, if you wanted to set tasks for that, but I'm just going to relate it to a project and I'm going to relate it to my example YouTube channel and it disappears. It's gone into the uh, action area. So there it is, my new quick task. If I want to keep track of certain projects on this home screen, I've added this new favorites project view as well. Uh, so I can jump to there and you'll also see within my YouTube channel page, this has a view of everything filtered by that project all the notes and knowledge that are related to it, um, all the tasks related to it, there's our quick task. If I open it up as a page, you'll be able to see this better. All of the content that relates to it because it's labeled as a content project and all the clients that relate to it. This has now become a full system and I will show you a little bit more about how all this all integrates in one second. But there you go, there is our task filtered in. I could click it as done here or I could, as I'm working through things, do it back here. Wherever you do it, as long as you click that done box, it will be disappeared into the database. But in here, there is a task bin, which is basically all tasks filtered as done, uh, so that if you do want to delete all the stuff that you've got rid of, you'll know where to find it. So that's how my system works. You could equally, within this view, uh, do it with um, the to-do list, which is now grouped I've grouped it by date, as you'll see here, that new grouping feature. Because it's chronologically grouped by date and I'm hiding the empty groups, uh, I can now have this very pleasing pre-programmed view of when these things need to be done. Today, tomorrow, the next seven days, and it means you can manage everything in one place. I'll be making further videos on how the key elements work in more detail, so make sure to subscribe if you're not already to check those out. Now, if we click through to our projects dashboard, that's also an update. I've just cleaned up the views of this. There are my favorited projects that you uh, favorite by clicking the favorite button. Take a look, I've got some examples in here. Let me just show you something. If I delete all of this and then use the new project template, which you would do if you added a new project, it will people it with all of that information. I filtered everything in here where related to projects contains template essentially that means that you you get a view of only the stuff related to that that's how you can view projects within projects they're filtered by live content project back burner and if they've been archived and you can view them in different types of uh, views within this dashboard uh, what I think is really exciting is this content project tag you'll see over here I have new project a new content project. I've created two simple templates for the project database. Any project that isn't to do with your content creation dashboard, you just call a new project. And if it is to do with content creation, you label it as a new content project. By doing that, it will label it as such. Let's have a little look. If we click a new one, 
and it will generate a view which links back to the content database. And by doing that, it will turn up as a channel in the content creation dashboard. Let me give you an example. If we call this new channel, it's a content project. It's explained here. And if we now go back to the content page, you will see it's turned up here as a new creating channel. So this moves us nicely on to a completely new section of the template that takes existing content management systems and projects database and integrates them with a new contacts and clients dashboard. And the standalone financial tracker that some of you might have seen previously is now integrated into that system as well. So this section here, projects, creator dashboard, contacts dashboard and financial tracker operate essentially as a little business manager. So if we click first of all through to the creator dashboard, there's a lot in here. This needs to be its own video, but essentially this is a fully fleshed out dashboard to manage regular items. So I've set up within it a couple of templates for different types of content you might do from a product to YouTube videos and podcasts, but you could put loads more in and generate them. Now, the idea behind this new integration is that you can essentially use the creator dashboard and projects dashboard to manage any project that involves a regular output. I've integrated the projects database to be used as a kind of channel for content. So I can now have a project for my digital templates, uh, a project that links to my YouTube channel uh, in the content database or the newsletter. And so if you create or deliver some form of regular output, this is somewhere that you can manage that from. It doesn't have to be that you make YouTube videos. If we click through to an example uh, template, uh, you'll see this one is a pre-populated uh, pro forma, which links it back to things like the second brain and your tasks. And that works by essentially being filtered by the current template. So the way you turn it into, it will give you that view. You'll see a view of live content, which you can also sort, create a view and just filter it by um, the particular tag, the content type. We have a new ideas section um, and then a published content, which again, you essentially filter by the fact that it's been ticked as published. So the process of creating something in here is pretty simple. We click in here, uh, you select uh, a certain thing, for example, a new video. So this is exactly how I create my own videos. Uh, generate one of these, I write the script within it, um, and I can plan descriptions and title ideas and all of that within it. It's a really great way to use Notion, make database templates, and then you can have them ready to go. Uh, and I've set mine up, as you would with your own templates, to link to the channel bit. So if I click to this, that'll take me through to the project, uh, which I can then manage all of the content related to it, the tasks, the clients that are linked to it, and the knowledge. So everything relates to everything else. It's really satisfying. So the content database is importantly linked to the knowledge bank and the notebooks, meaning that you can relate research and ideas directly to outputs so that you can then apply those content ideas to a meaningful output in your own work. It means that what comes in actually comes out in a meaningful way. And maybe that's not the right way to put it. Of it. If we take a look at this example, you can see that there is a way of tracking progress with it. If it's been published, uh, invoiced for, if the invoice has been paid and all the rest of it. But you might want to, if you're doing that, track it with the specific client. And that's where this comes in. Let's go to that database and I'll show you the client dashboard. So this is a completely new element to the system. It's my contacts dashboard. Within this view, it will tell you how many live and how many completed projects there are uh, linked in the content dashboard. If we click through to this example, uh, you'll see here's the video and you can see the content related to the client. And within that view, that's where you can track uh, the income and so on and so forth. We've also got a little setup for the type of uh, client that it is. Uh, this will populate in different ways and you'll have the right information. There's also a simple communications log within a client entry. So that's where you can manage things like sponsors, uh, brands, and then below that, there's business contacts and personal contacts. For these ones, I've just made it about their link to the main project database because this is for content uh, contacts. 
I've got a live leads view, which has these reported views, which are formulas, which break down, uh, calculate essentially any linked projects and if they've been published or not. And it will also tell you um, the related project that it's linked to, all of their contact details and all of the uh, pieces of content linked to it. I don't want to kind of go into all the detail of the uh, formulas because look at all that. It, it, you don't really need to worry about that. You just need to know that it works essentially. The final thing that it's linked to is this financial tracker. This essentially is the basic financial tracker um, that I built on a previous video. You can check that out um, and it's available as an individual template. Some of you might have it. I've simplified this a little bit since the last version. There's a roll up now just to uh, make it easier to uh, once you link income and expenses to the year. Um, it just reports it nice and simply. This is a way of generating a new income. It works a bit the same as what I do for regular uh, tasks that you can generate on the task database. Um, you just click this template button and whatever you've made and put in there will pop up and you can drop them in. Obviously there's a lot here, but you need to work gently through my other template uh, videos um, and future videos that come up to best understand how all this works. There's also an historic view where all income and expenditure will be listed each year. So you'll always have a record of it. I personally use this just for my kind of regular personal expenses, but you could build this into a full client management system if you wanted to. The second brain and knowledge bank. This is the knowledge bank. It's where you can collect ideas or notes that you can then feed back into more meaningful outputs of your own. I believe a good system reveals connections and possibilities that you wouldn't otherwise see. I use this to automatically capture content that resonates with me, and then I can link it to the outputs that I have, like video scripts, digital products, or for me, theater productions that I'm directing. I've made a whole video on how this works and I'll list it in the description. And since I've integrated mine with Readwise, as you'll see in that video, everything is just automatically fed into it from Kindle, podcasts, everything just turns up, it's amazing. This year I've updated the views of the Knowledge Bank to be ready for that kind of integration with, with, with Readwise. <laughs> so if you want to try that out, there's also a full guide of how to do it. And it means that if you did it, you would quite easily be able to just shift everything across into it, great. For gathering ideas and knowledge, it's also worth checking out the Save to Notion Chrome extension. It's also a great free integration that sets up um, a kind of feed of stuff into your system where you can build a, a template uh, form to put it in. I've linked a link to a video about that in the description as well. Aren't I good to you? Now, the database also serves the notebooks dashboard. You just use the template choices when adding a new entry to either filter it into knowledge or into notebooks. And this system remains essentially unchanged because I really liked the last version of how it works. Filtering notes from the inbox by adding them to notebooks, priority views, all of that. I think it's really good. And as a little bonus, I've included this. It's what I'm calling a wish list. Uh, it's essentially a, a shopping list, a place basically to send products, travel ideas, events that you might want to try out later on. I've again used a Save to Notion uh, form dedicated to it that allows for quick input and it's a really easy thing to do. Well, that is my complete Notion life management template. You can download it now from Gumroad or via bettercreating.com forward slash downloads. Use it, adapt it, make it work for you, turn it into your own thing. Watch this video next if you want to learn more about that second brain Readwise Notion integration and this one for more on great approaches to daily productivity. It'd be awesome if you left a comment. Amazing if you subscribed if you haven't already. Oh, what a video. See you later. Bye.